G'day, I'm Toby from Toby Fire and Steel, but you'll probably know that because you're on here watching me. Hope you had all an awesome Christmas. I've really, really enjoyed myself. Got some really cool stuff. Uh, New Year's coming. Really excited about that too. Some of you will know about the TFS Knife Maker Challenge. We've been running that for a couple of months now. We've done a pairing knife and we've done a fighter type knife. Who knows what's going to be coming up in January. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on mine, but some beautiful knives have been made. Um, have a look at Paul Aristan's one, uh, fighter and uh, lots and lots of other blades that have been on there. Really, really exciting. But what it did get me thinking was people submit pictures. Um, some are done like Jamie Bishop's, beautifully done with crayon. Um, I think he might have been holding the crayon in his mouth when he drew it. I'm not, I'm not definite about that. But it did make me think, I'm not bad with a pencil, uh, but I'd like the idea of being able to put it on the computer somehow. And there's other people who are actually good on a computer and probably would like to be able to do their drawings on the computer. Looking into it, there is an awesome, awesome program which is supplied by Creative Man in Australia. Exciting for me to find. It's called Knife Print. And... Sort of looked at it first and thought, I don't really know if it's my sort of thing. I like to draw and that sort of stuff. After probably 40 seconds of playing with it, I realised I needed it in my life. So I'll be buying a copy of it. Really? Totally not actually sure how I've lived without it. It, it. it sort of goes from being that thing where you draw a knife and you kind of go, I don't know, I'd like a clip point on that or I'd like a drop point on there or I'd like, I don't know. And you can, instead of having to redraw the hole or rub it out and then draw it and then you can't work out which was the original line, you're able to just put new pinpoints on, move the picture, drag stuff around. It's really, really easy. It's got so many options on it, like changing the curve of things and putting straight lines in and reversing pictures and getting it from different angles and lots of different templates to start with. So you can get a template, like the handle on that, don't like the blade, completely change the blade. Uh, completely change the handle, change the size and shape and all that sort of stuff, add measurements and dimensions. You can also save it in multiple different uh, in different formats. You can also even get it, if you really want to, sent straight off to a company to have it water jetted, and they will take that format and just water jet it for you. It also gives you the ability to just take that format and send it to your own company that you already use if you want to do that. I'm pretty sure it even gives you the ability to take that crayon drawing of Jamie Bishop's and actually upload the photo and it will transpose that over to a digital version and then you can alter it and change it and maybe take some of the mouth prints off of it or something along those lines. Anyway, couldn't believe how actually easy this thing was to use and for the price, absolutely blown away about it. So here's what we're going to do. Creative Man has decided that as, uh, as a supporter of my channel, the fact that they are, they are really looking to help the community in Australia grow and that sort of stuff, and really like helping new makers, they have given me a copy, a lifetime copy, lifetime uh, subscription of Knife Print, which means that for the rest of your life you've got this program and you can use it forever. As well as that, they're going to be throwing in one of a, a, a example of a 1095, I believe it is, steel template uh, made out of one of their designs for you to get on with and grind and work with straight away. So you can use that one before you get a chance to get one of your own ones cut. Here's what I'd like you to do. If you want the opportunity to win this program, which I wish I could do, but can't clearly because it wouldn't seem fair, I'd like you to go on and I'm going to put supply a link on here and it's, there's a seven day free trial to knife print. Go on and design yourself a knife. The funniest, the coolest, the, I don't know, the most crazy, whatever you want. I want to see some like corkscrews and bottle openers and I don't know, some files and all sorts of stuff added to these sorts of things. Who knows, you can make your own version of a folder or a Swiss Army crazy thing with lightsabers on it. I don't care. But then I want you to screenshot it. Then I want you to upload it straight onto the Australian Beginner Knife Making Group. Now the Australian Beginner Knife Making Group is actually a group created by Creative Man. It's their way of giving back a little bit as well. Uh, helping the new people in the community and allowing people who are making knives to sort of show a bit of their work off and that sort of stuff. So if you're not on that group anyway, go across and, and find them. If you're not on the TFS Knife Maker Challenge group, go along and join us and get involved. Um, maybe you can be the winner of the next design for January and be able to show off your design work and everyone will use it. So today is Sunday the 29th of December. I'm thinking we'll do, as it's a seven day challenge, we'll do a seven day challenge. Sunday the 5th 
is seven days from today. So you have seven days from now to download the seven day free trial. Design a funky knife, screenshot it, upload it to the Australian beginner knife making group. And if you wanna do it on Instagram as well, why don't we do a hashtag? Let's do a hashtag of uh, creative man comp. There we go, creative man comp. Hashtag creative man comp. So we'll see all the ones on Facebook and if we find any of those hashtags on Instagram, we'll add those to the competition and you might just get picked. So good luck with it. If you need any help, feel free to message me and we'll see if we can help you anyway. Peru.